Hello, this is Snahal from Stellar Cyber. Today, we're going to take a look at if you have been compromised by the SolarWinds breach. One of the key functionalities is to look at asset analytics. Here, I've got full visibility of all assets in my network. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick search for all of my servers that have SolarWinds installed on it. Here, it's going to come back and say, yep, I do have a asset that does have SolarWinds installed on it. And as you can see, here's the actual version of it. If I go back to my asset details, I wanna see if there were any vulnerabilities with this particular host. So I can go into this panoramic view. The idea with the panoramic view is to look at all activity in a correlated view. Here I can see I've got some login attempts or actually successful logins, but they were at an anomalous time or an anomalous location. May not mean much because it was a successful login. What I also observed here is I've got access to an Azure Active Directory server in the cloud. There were some anomalous commands that were sent, uh, possibly a additional username was created. I've also got some Trojan activity externally, but to this particular server, I've got lateral movement. What I observed for my network traffic analysis is there was an RDP brute force attack. Further looking at my Windows server events, I saw there was registry modification and an RDP reverse terminal established. If I look here, which is the most interesting one, I actually have an emerging threat to an external server. Any one of these events, I can get additional details on. Here we have a security event to an external host. It shows there was an emerging threat signature that was identified. I can click on more information and scroll down and get some more details on what that actual uh, emerging threat was. Looking at my flow record here to get more details, you can clearly see that this web, it was a destination of a sunburst. What we were able to see from this correlated view that you did have some normal events happen, but you also had some anomalous events happen. And as you piece all of these events together, you can clearly see that you have a server that had SolarWinds installed on it and has been compromised. So you've got a full lateral view here of all of the different security events that happen both from lateral movement to exfiltration, you can identify if you had a server with the SolarWinds application on it that was compromised. So to sum things up here, when you have a view that gives you visibility to your entire network with data sources coming from various parts of your environment, you're able to piece this together and identify that you have a compromised server. Thank you for watching. Please register on our website for a demo. Looking forward to working with you. Thank you.